I'll be talking to you today about how some of the uh, financial calculations that underlie the direct contracting model are calculated, specifically the direct contracting benchmark. Uh, in, in this lecture, we're going to talk about how the benchmark is used. Uh, primarily, it is used to calculate share savings payment that you might receive in, uh, in the model, but it will also creep into how the capitation payments are calculated. And we'll talk about what those terms mean as well, if you're not familiar. Then we're going to get into how the benchmark is calculated. There are a couple of different flavors of direct contracting entities that are uh, created by this program. We are talking about the standard a standard professional DC and the benchmark that's attached to its claims aligned beneficiaries. Diving into this example of how the benchmark is used, uh, here we are uh, looking at some simulated performance from a provider in uh, the years 2017 to 2019, uh, and we've calculated a benchmark for them. That benchmark is the orange line in this graph. The uh, purple bars are the average total cost of care of their patients in each of those years. So the benchmark here is a little bit over $10,000. And you can see the total cost of care in 2017 was higher than the benchmark by quite a bit. And so some shared losses were generated. Whereas in 2018 and 2019, savings were earned because the total cost of care was below the benchmark. Now, a big caveat here is that we are using a 2021 benchmark to analyze performance in 2017, 2018, and 2019. In reality, a 2021 benchmark should only be used to calculate shared savings and losses in 2021 and that benchmarks recalculated for 2022. But we think that this is a uh, pretty good view uh, into, uh, into the world of direct contracting and, and has helped providers understand where they might fit into this program. So this is the type of analysis that you can expect uh, Pearl uh, to do uh, for you. If you are a provider or a physician group, we can look at where your historical figures would compare to a 2021 benchmark. We can even dive a little bit deeper and analyze what were the cost drivers for those years. So you see in this example, the biggest driver of costs in 2017 that disappeared in 2018 and 20, 2019 was uh, uh, expenditures attached to inpatient care for the panel for this provider. And so we would have advised that uh, we would have tried to dig in with this provider, figure out what was going on in 2017 and what changed and, and make sure that that uh, is continued to be realized throughout the program. If you want this analysis done for you, just email the folks at join at pearlhealth.com. I think the more people that understand how the benchmark is calculated, the more we can uh, really understand direct contracting as a whole. And so it's our hope through uh, this lecture and others that, that we're going to have a more um, educated set of providers out there that can uh, help really champion the program and, and understand how it, it can best be utilized. So thanks for joining us today.